What's up you guys, it's Matt here. So as you know, with XRP, I'm planning on making moves to buy more because I felt as though maybe I didn't have enough. And reading some comments, um, you know, I appreciate all the people that have comments and give me their perspective because I've seen kind of the same comments where people are like, you know, 80,000 80, is enough. That's that's way better than what I'm doing. And and uh, some people said that it seemed like I was rubbing it in, you know, people's faces. I'm not rubbing it in anybody's face. I never mean to do that. Um, I'm always just very excited about what I can purchase. And while it is uh, maybe, um, I don't know, in, insensitive to, to, to people that, that have a, a good amount, a really, really good amount, <clears throat> which I feel like even 10,000 uh, XRP is a good amount. Um, even a couple of thousand is a good amount for, for what you um, potentially could get from it, because you never really know exactly how far that's going to go. <clears throat> but what I wanted out of this situation in buying more XRP was just about reaching my goals a little bit faster, right? Um, that's mainly what it's all about. It's always been that way. I mean, it's that way for for millionaires and billionaires, and that's the reason why they can like they can continue to generate so much wealth. Because once you make a certain amount of money, you should be able to have that money work for you in a larger way than the normal person could, right? And that's kind of my goal is to do that. Um, but no way did I mean to rub it in anybody's face by saying I have eighty thousand and it's not enough. Um, I do think 80,000 is enough, but um, if I do have the opportunity to buy more, um, I will buy more just to show that I believe in XRP a lot. Um, so I, I want to apologize to anybody that felt some type of way about me uh, posting how much I had in XRP. Um, I, I do get very excited about buying any more XRP, as in this video, I get very excited about any purchase of XRP or any um, new um, gathering, I don't know, of XRP, anything else that I gain of XRP, whether it's through Marjax or it's through just purchasing, you know, outright. I'm always excited about doing that. And I, again, never mean to rub it in anybody's face to say that, oh, I have this and you don't, but what I have is still not worth enough, right? It, that's not the case at all. So again, I apologize for that. Anybody that did feel that way, um, what you guys are doing is amazing. I saw people that said they have 40,000 XRP. That's an amazing amount. Their goal is to get to 50,000. You got to have goals, whatever level you you are at in being a a uh, whale or, or whatever, um, you know, you have to have those goals. And I think with um, the future of where XRP will be and how it will be utilized that again thousands just single digit thousands of XRP should make a significant impact just like tens of thousands of, of uh, XRP uh, should make a difference so um, guys hit that like button hit the subscribe button hit the notification bell for more of these videos um, also make sure you check out any of the links that are down below. It does help out the channel. If you guys want to find a way to build more XRP or gather more XRP, I'm doing it through Margex. Uh, that's the best way that I can do it. Um, I do get a kickback from them if you click the link down below and it, it will help me to get to my goal of 100,000 XRP. And uh, I promise you I will be done after that. I think that's a, a solid number to get to. I really don't have any levels that I want to invest into after that. Um, but yeah, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, check out the link for Margex if you guys want to trade. Uh, XRP at up to a 50x leverage. Now, if we look at where XRP is currently, it currently stands at 49 cents. It's uh, up slightly on the day. We are seeing it at a $27.3 billion market cap with $1.2 billion worth of volume. Uh, we're also seeing um, that 55.57% of the circuit of the total supply is out there in circulation um adding more circulating supply every single month their goal is to add a billion every month um i haven't necessarily seen that um i've seen them add a billion since but it, it's been like multiple months like three or four months and it's only really been a billion that has been added maybe a little bit over that so it doesn't seem like they're really reaching their goals and adding the levels that they want to add which 
can be a good thing for regular investors because you don't have the dilution as quickly. So uh, that's one way of looking at it. But um, throughout these last couple of videos, like I said, I talked about uh, how much I was adding in an XRP and what I want to get to. And the last time you saw, I think I was at like 82, 82,000 um, XRP overall. I did transfer the XRP that I had from uh, Margex. Uh, so from this platform, Margex over to uh, Coinbase. So I had like 2,000. I also had a little bit more that I gained uh, recently off of a... Um, off of a short that I um, took out on on Margex. And now if I go over to my assets on Coinbase, you're going to see that I now have 83,442. So I'm about 17,000 XRP away uh, from getting to my my level, right? Actually a little under 17,000, right? Uh, away from getting to my my level that I would love to get to. Now, obviously, I would love to get there at a price range of about 50 cents, but um, it's not a given that it's going to stay at these levels. We don't have any type of settlement details. We don't have any newer details to the SEC versus Ripple. Um, so that's a good thing for the price to remain steady so that we can capture more. Uh, but I will continue on this journey to capture as much as I can. Anything below the 70 cent mark, I'm going to purchase as much as I can. Um, that's physically possible without giving up, you know, what my goals are outside, which is, you know, paying off student loans and, and doing all that stuff. Because um, uh, I think, that that is a priority and how I can gain uh, just that interest back for, instead of paying that over the next however many years. So that's always a good thing to have that uh, availability. Um, but like I said, I have 83,442 XRP and I will continue to gather more and continue to update you guys on how much or how close I'm getting to getting that 100,000. But yeah, XRP is in a solid spot. Uh, it's not like Jasmine Coin, which is actually tanking a little bit today. Um, but uh, yeah, I just wanted to, you know, kind of follow up with that because I saw a lot of comments uh, saying that I should, um, I should be aware of how much I do have and some type of privilege that I do have. Never had any privilege in my life, but uh, this is something that I kind of, I guess, have to get used to. Um, which again, I, I apologize for um, not understanding. I guess I understood how much I had. It's just as you see other people that are at levels above you, uh, people that are saying, oh, I have 150,000, I have 200,000, you start to think, do I even have enough? Uh, especially with the fact that XRP is just not moving right now, it makes you think that um, it's not enough to get there and that if you want to get there, you have to have a certain amount, which would be, you get to a level of $10, you have 100,000, you know, that's a uh, million dollars that you end up having right there. And you get there a lot faster than if you had 10,000. But with the ultimate goal um, of, you know, having that use case being fully adopted, you know that $10 is a low price compared to what the overall predictions or mass predictions are for XRP. So anyways, guys, let me know what you think about this. Um, let me know what you think about XRP. Let me know what you think about uh, holding 100,000. Uh, how much do you guys hold? I've seen numbers of 40 to 50,000. I've seen people that said they have less than 10,000. I still think all of these numbers are good. You just have to adjust your exit plan based on what you hold right? It's not saying what I hold is not enough to make anything. It's just saying that I want to get to my goals a little bit faster, which is, you know, a way of if you have extra money, anything extra, then you would put it towards it. I don't have any true extra money right now, but if I can gain anything else in Margex, that's where I'm getting it from. So guys, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell for more of these videos. Um, also, check out my link for Marjex if you guys want to get started trading. But I'm going to get out of here, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. See ya.